Greetings fellow viewers and welcome back to Final Fantasy Record Keeper. So I've not been posting plus battles lately, I've been pretty sick. So we're going back to the, we're doing our Where the Heart Lies Final Fantasy 9 event. Gonna do a quick event, oops. Gonna do a quick event overview. Of what we can get. Got additional dungeons unlocked now. Story is about the Dane Tribal and Kuja. Takes place in Branbal, where we go to uh, Memoria. Well, not Memoria, Terra. Yeah, Terra. Can get Zidane and Kuja. New missions, new uh, sphere motes. Can recruit Zidane, Kuja, Steiner, Freya. Garner and Amaranth, get items for the Hall of Rites, get Memory Crystal 2's for Zidane, Kuja, Steiner and Freya, get Memory Crystals for all the ones we can recruit, we can get a 5 star spell blade ability, complete the plus 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 dungeon to get Blazing Twin Strike, 5 star spell blade ability that deals 2 physical fire attacks to one target, and we can get a 5 star thief ability, complete the plus plus dungeon to get Das and Slash, a 5 star thief ability that deals 2 physical wind attacks to one target, and deals more damage if the user has a dagger equipped. Okay, interesting. Alright, so let's head into the plus battles then. Starting off with Seeking the Gulag Stone Plus. Here's our bosses, the Antlion. The Antlion uses a group magic attack sandstorm which blinds and deals damage based on your hero's current HP. And Counter Horn, a powerful physical attack it uses to counter any physical attacks it takes. Also uses Trouble Mucus, an attack that can confuse. Wow. It absorbs water damage but vulnerable to ice. And we have to reduce the Antlion's attack. Oh, and we face Ark. Ark has a host of powerful physical attacks. Its Photon attack deals massive damage to a single ally based on their current HP, so be sure to bring it along so one can heal. You know that. Propeller Wing can confuse your party. Okay. Uh, Ark is resistant to break debuffs. Uh, it's vulnerable to wind. Okay, so we'll save Stellar Circle 5 for that then. It's immune to earth as it's flying. Exploit Ark's weakness to wind. Alright. Uh, sticking with an FF9 party, have we, as we've got some pretty decent synergy with it. So uh, hopefully it should go well. Stats are boosted pretty nicely. Alright, as for a roaming warrior, well, uh, sure, let's bring Night Protector. We've got a Hastiger in the form of a Divine Guardian. Alright, let's do it. Uh, versus the Antlion. Uh, might not, might save me stuff for uh, Ark. Just unleash everything there. Let's pop it down to three as usual. Oh, okay, Queen is confused already. We get one of our weaker characters to knock him out. Of that. Are you kidding me? Oh, phew. Just have Garnet heal then. Might as well use a uh, Beatrix's uh, burst soul break Roman warrior. Halfway already. Okay, oh that's nice, it knocked him out of a uh, confused. Probably should have bought a protect girl or something. 
DLC only really use physical attack. But he's out of there. Hey, we get an ether. I'd like a potion or something, but oh well. Expert? Oh, we didn't reduce his attack. Okay. Oh yeah, because Queen had got confused, didn't, didn't it? Well, let's hope we can still get um champion with this, since all we have to do is deal wind damage. What ATV gorges are like? Nice. Most people are up first. Really got Stellar Circle 5. Okay, Night protects us a uh, draw fire. Also, maybe. Ooh. He's full break. Okay. Stella Circle 5 should be available now. Why is he vulnerable to Holy as well? Here's another full break. Hopefully, they should finish him off. Wow, look at that damage. Beautiful. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Wait, what? Okay, now he's dead. Apparently he's left with one HP. Well, hopefully we got champion for that. That should give us mastery. Perfect. There we go. Perfect, champion. Completion reward, 30,000 gil, next part unlock, mastery reward, giant scout attack times 2, greater fire orb times 10, first time reward, standard memory crystal 2, and Freya memory crystal 2. And vitality milk 3 star times 30. So let's move on to the plus plus battle, I think we can still keep with our FF9 team. Thirst for souls, plus plus. We face Melty Gemini. Uh, oh yeah, those were the Thorn and Th uh, Thorn and Zone merge. Uh, it's with powerful enemy attacks. Uses bio. Uh, uses viral smoke uh, with sap. Uh, his weaknesses are fire and holy. Resistance to dark. So we have to lower his defense and exploit his weakness to holy attacks so we can easily do that. Should I bring Shelgo instead? Um, no, I think I'll change full charge to Shelgo because I'm pretty sure... Uh, scrap oh, there he is. Yep, it's a good thing um, Beatrix is a paladin. She can use white magic then. Alright, as for a roaming warrior. I might grab a shout, maybe. No, I think I'll grab a. Oh, let's see if we get something good. Dagger resolve. Um, you know what, sure, why not? Okay, here we go, versus Melted Gemini. So the resistance from Divine Guardian will be pretty good here. And the Shalga as well, obviously. Uh, but looks like none of them are... Oh, I hear these twins quite popular too, because they're not really twins at all. And they merge right with these full breaks right off. Uh, Divine Guardian. 
Life Siphon, Shelga. I should reduce this damage somewhat. Divine Guardian puts up a moderate amount of resistance. Did another full break, sure. Use this to see the weak game stats. We'll heal up a bit. So you're carrying a vi- Oh, did that get rid of Major Region? Does that count a Major Region? I'm not sure if it does or not. Well, it probably does. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, let's pop Dagger Resolve. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, damage definitely down there. Pull me up. Nice. Here comes the Holy Damage. Perfect. Beautiful damage. And we can use Ramblin's Judgment. So it looks like uh, Sap is also a major poison. poison. Stellar Circle Fries ready. Oh, this is a May ready. We'll use that. Ow. I think Healing Light is a uh, Medica. Pretty good damage, nice. Is he dead? No, nope, not yet. He should be soon though. Do you steal damage? Damage, not a lot, but should finish him off. <coughs> Perfect. Nice and easy with a synergy team. Very rarely get chances with those. And we get a great orb. Champion, nice. a greater dark orb. So for our rewards we get next part unlocked for completion. 30,000 gil for mastery reward, major fire orb times 3, creature memory crystal 2, first time reward, dash and slash, today memory crystal 2, and spirit molt 3 star times 32. We need more molts, hopefully get some spit, uh, wisdom molts as well. And let's move on to the final plus battle, the Unyielding Destroyer, plus plus plus, let's see who our boss is here. Kuja is our boss, okay. Kuja attacks with an array of powerful magic abilities, and as his HP drops he becomes even more deadly. After he takes a certain amount of damage he'll use Gravager. On your party so be ready to heal back up. Kuja's Flare Star ability is a group magic attack so it can't be reflected. And if your entire party has Reflect, it's the only attack he'll use, so tread carefully. Well, that doesn't matter since uh, we won't be using Reflect anyway. When Kuja gets low on HP, he enters Transform, enabling him to use to attack twice per turn. And if that wasn't bad enough, he starts using powerful physical attacks like Death Bolt and Death Storm too. He's resistant to break debuffs, but Magic Breakdown and Power Breakdown still worth it. Uh, Kuja has a lot of lightning attacks as well. We have to lower his defense, lower his magic. And you know what, I think I will swap out power breakdown for magic breakdown. Here. Seems definitely useful. And let's do it. Uh, should I bring a buff? Should I bring a wall? I think I would more likely benefit from a wall here. 
So maybe stone skin? Uh, yeah, let's... What's this guy's mine? Four and three. The friendship ribbon as well. Okay, let's use stone skin. I don't think I'll need it straight away. Alright, Unyielding Destroyer, Mr. Kuja! Let's take him down. Nice that Kuja's a plus 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 battle. Okay, not very good uh, ACB gauges, to say the least. Use full break. Damn it, should have used the Shelga. Use Divine Guardian. Like he's in the back row. Still dealing pretty decent damage. Hey, it's Kuja versus Kuja. Shame we don't have his burst so great. Shame we only got Roses of May. We need to really heal yet. I think I need to pop stone skin yet. Okay, Gravager, hit all. Ow. Okay, I think now it's stone skin time though. I think. Uh, I think. Don't uh, Gravager does current HP, not maximum HP damage. I hope that's right. I need to start healing people up though. Okay, Queen is probably dead. Ooh, nope. You still a circle five. Okay, start just start healing people up for fucking sake. Those is a mate. And now he's going halfway. Hopefully we'll deal more damage to him bef and hopefully get him on low HP before he enters trance. Okay, maybe not. Please don't use Ultima. Ah, uh, oh ho ho! Haha! <laughs> Stone skin, thank god! Here's another full break. Um, this is very uh, heart wrenching. We'll have some defense as well in case anything deals physical damage. Bolt. That wasn't too bad. Let's <laughs> That wasn't too bad. I guess that wall really helps. You strike energy well enough. Even though it's a default soul break. Lightning wins the air with a peel of thunder and garden golf. Okay, please don't ignore resistance. Thank you! Another Divine Guardian? Oh, let's just save it. Boom, boom, boom! Wow. He just snapped. Divine Guardian again, why not? Well, that was easier than suspected.
You'll get Alexander this time, Kuja. Ah, oh, Zane could have finished him off. Will Roses and May finish him off? Yeah. Ah, uh, there we go, he's down. Well, that was easier than I thought. Not bad. And that does it for the plus battles. And champion received. So for our rewards, we get ultimate unlocked for completion. 60,000 guild for master reward, major power orb times 2. Major Dark Orb times 3, First Time Reward, Blazing Twin Strike, Memory Crystal 2 Load, and Wisdom Mode 3 Star times 48. And that is going to do it for the plus battles of Where the Heart Lies. Maybe we'll do some ultimate battles this time round. Check out the rewards. Uh, we get Zidane's earrings, Rosetta Stone, uh, Earth Crystal, Earth Crystal 3 Load, and the usual stuff as well. Alright, well, join us again for either another event or the Ultimate Battles in FFRK. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, helps out a lot. Then comment about the video down below if you want. Then I would ask you to check out the rest of the channel and subscribe if you wish. And as always, I will see you in the next one.